Hello and welcome to this video Understanding Thermal EMFs in Read Relays. A thermal EMF is a naturally occurring phenomenon that affects all conducting materials. When a conductor has temperature gradient across it, there will be more free electrons at the cooler end than there are at the hotter end. The number of free electrons is dependent on material type and creates a voltage across the conductor. This difference is the voltage potential across the two conductors, which is known as the Seebeck effect. This voltage is dependent on the temperature difference and the difference in the materials that make up the conducting path. Although these voltages are in the microvolt range, in applications where very low signal levels are present or very accurate voltage measurements are critical, they can add in unacceptable errors and minimising the effects can be important. Temperature gradients can occur across a PCB or throughout a piece of equipment. Some components heat up to dissipate power and force their cooling can create relatively large differences in small areas, generating thermal EMFs along PCB tracks within components and connectors. For a read relay, there are a range of factors that need to be considered. The difference in the read switch and lead frame materials, the symmetry of the construction and the pin connections and the heating effects of the drive coil. Where the switch is vertical in the relay package, the asymmetrical construction can greatly increase the thermal EMF generated when compared to symmetrical relays. For an industry standard single inline read relay with a 500 ohm coil, to measure the thermal EMF voltage generated by the read relay alone, you need to connect the switch pins to a microvolt meter, place a permanent magnet alongside the relay to operate the switch, wait for the temperature across the read switch to stabilize at around zero microvolts, apply the nominal volts to the coil, remove the permanent magnet, wait for the voltage across the contact to stabilize. If you place a magnet to hold the read switch closed, and then remove the cool drive, you can see the thermal EMF drop as the temperature across the relay equalizes once the coil power is removed. When considering a read relay on its own, the primary source of heat that creates the temperature gradient across the switch is the coil. If you take the same relay in the previous example, apply three volts across the coil, allowing the thermal EMF to stabilize. Then increase the coil voltage in one volt steps, allowing the thermal EMF to settle after each step. You can see a clear example of how the coil power heat affects the thermal EMF generated. With a 500 ohm coil, 3 volts will give 18 milliwatts coil power, whereas 8 volts give 128 milliwatts, and the extra heat it produces across a coil significantly affects the thermal EMF generated. For the best performance, using read relays with higher coil resistances will result in improved thermal EMFs. To achieve these higher coil resistances, these parts are usually larger than standard relays, allowing better distribution of any heat the coil produces. For example, the Pickering 100-1-A-5-2D has a 3300 ohms coil. This greatly reduces any heat from the coil power dissipation, and its larger mass compared to a standard single inline relay helps to reduce the thermal gradient across the device. The thermal EMF generated by the relay alone will peak when the coil voltage is initially applied, but as the heat from the coil equalizes across the whole package, the resulting thermal gradient can see it stabilize at a lower level. For even more stable results, using a two-pole relay with the read switches connected differentially can mean the voltage generated in one switch is in the opposite polarity as that generated in the other switch. The resulting thermal EMF will be the difference between the voltages. When measuring the thermal EMF differentially for the two-pole Pickering 100-2-A-5 oblique 2D, with the voltage generated across one switch cancelling some of the voltage generated by the other switch, the resulting voltage can be less than one microvolt. This is a common technique when using read relays to connect to thermocouples or other very low voltage sources, where thermal EMF voltages could create accuracy issues. Thank you for watching. To learn more about read relays, please go to pickeringrelay.com.